Hi, I'm Jim McGregor from Curious Research, and we're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Um, and we're recording some videos of some of the most interesting demos and new technologies that we're seeing. So I hope you enjoy them. Media Tech, and we're getting a demo right now from about Wi-Fi and 5G carrier aggregation. Yeah. All it's all about increasing your performance and your connectivity. So yeah, tell us more about it. So Jim, uh, if uh, so, what we're doing today at uh, Mobile World Congress is uh, highlighting a 3GPP standard, but what we call 5G and Wi-Fi convergence. So if you have a mobile phone that has both technology in it, right? Uh, the question raises is, well, which network should you be on at the right and optimal time? Mm -hmm. So there's a standard called ATSSS that we're displaying today. We're the very first ones to adopt it. It allows us to do either aggregation, like you say, like both at the same time, or switch during an application, or third mode is a priori determine which network is best even before you launch the application. So all three modes, um, there's intelligence to do that. Now for the first time, this is standardized, and so it's not like a proprietary technology. So that makes it very applicable to, you know, a wide standard, uh, wide type of devices, like the device you're holding right now. A so phone. this was all uh, release 17. Uh, before that, right? 16, Actually, 16. Yeah. Okay. So it keeps evolving, yeah. of course, but uh, it's very exciting, right? So mm -hmm. standardized, smooth user experience. And now this is actually a very cool technology because it, it could involve the UE with the, the handset talking directly to the core network to make this decision. Oh, that's so awesome. it's a Yeah, so it's a network phenomenon. It's, you know, because you know, the network has to be aware, right? So this is a very, very cool. Right? Maybe you want to show this as well, the actual measurement. Yeah, so yeah. can you bring up the, the, you had a graph here, right? So he's gonna show you actually an actual switch. So you'll see the RSSI coming down for one technology and then another coming up for another, and then we'll switch. So why don't you go ahead. So this is a scenario of the online gaming. So as you can see um, here, uh, we have the ID Chipper's phone here and the, the reference phone here. And we use the phone to control the game server so you can see that this is a video from the game server and this is a controller we use the phone. And now we are going to throttle the Wi-Fi bandwidth so the Wi-Fi latency will increase. And you, we are expect to see... So we are expect to see here the Edgeverse phone will switch to NR to guarantee the game control smoothly. But the reference phone, because Wi-Fi goes down, so the reference phone will lose the game control. So he's going to play this for you and you can watch the, you can see the core network go down. Well, you can see Wi-Fi go down, that's the blue. You yeah. see the orange go up, that's the orange, and then we'll switch. Great. So you can see it. And then you'll see the left-hand side be seamless, so that it won't stop. So but the right-hand side will, you know, will, will, will jitter. The demo didn't go long enough. So is it right now? about now, see this? Yeah. See the, the orange is 5G, it goes up, and then we switched. And now the blue went down, but on the right hand side, it just didn't do anything, so yeah. you're stalled. It's a freeze now. So this is uh, switching in live action, right? right? The blue goes down, Wi-Fi, the 5G goes up, and it switches. Over. That's awesome. So that's literally, that's one of the three modes, the switching mode. Yeah. The world's first, man. As usual. Great. That's awesome. We always bring in the first. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember that Curious Research is a market research and advisory firm. If you want any information about us, please contact us directly at curiousresearch.com or at any of our email addresses. That's Jim, Kevin, Steve, or Francis at curiousresearch.com.